Welcome back to the Trench Talk Show and the second week of Sam's Spotlight. If you haven't gotten the chance to check out our latest podcast featuring Jessica Hayden of the Boston Renegades, follow the link in our bio. We hope you'll enjoy it. For my second spotlight, I'm going to be focused on Syracuse and North Carolina. Syracuse is traveling to Chapel Hill to take on 18th rank North Carolina on Saturday at noon. The game's going to be on the ACC network. The player I want to focus on this game plays for the Tar Heels. His name is Marcus McKeithen. He's a junior from Barnwell, South Carolina, plays right guard and wears number 73. And he is a massive human being, standing six foot seven, 330 pounds. North Carolina comes in the year ranked 18th in the country and open up the season against conference opponent Syracuse in Chapel Hill. North Carolina is my sleeper pick to make it to the college football playoff. Marcus and their high powered offense are a large reason why. Marcus started 12 games at right guard for the Tar Heels last season. And they were able to get 474 yards per game, which was 12th in the country and second in the ACC. And 285 of those yards came in the air with the pass game and 188 in the rushing game. This gives them a very balanced attack. A balanced attack can be very hard to stop. It's keeping the defense guessing if they'll see run or pass. Marcus at right guard is a key part of both their run and pass blocking schemes. With his huge size, he's able to be a brick wall with long arms in the pass game. Over his 18 games played, he's given up just two sacks. And also with his size, he's able to be a force in the run game and reestablish that line of scrimmage. And he plays better in big games. If you go back and watch some UNC film, especially against Clemson, you see that he played his best game against the Tigers, probably one of the best teams in the country. He played three, four pancake blocks that game. I expect him to take huge strides in both his run and pass blocking this season. And he has the potential to be one of the best interior linemen in the country. So coming into last season, Marcus had played his entire career at tackle pretty much. And during spring ball, he was playing right tackle. But his team asked him to move over to the inside probably two, three weeks like left in camp. And this is a real selfless act. Marcus knew, you know, this, this could be tough. Like I'm changing a new position with the season coming up. And it just proves that he was willing to put in that extra work and be selfless for the team and help them which ended up helping himself personally, and now he's in a great position. And I think with him having more experience playing right guard, he'll be more comfortable and confident the position and be able to dominate opposing defensive tackles. It's usually rare to have such a tall guard who doesn't see himself allowing stockier defensive linemen to kind of bull rush him back and run or pass. But Marcus doesn't let that happen. I think it's due to his great technique and incredible work ethic. He really does a great job of sinking his hips, getting his hands inside, and out leveraging those shorter defensive tackles. And his combination of work ethic and size allows him to be almost an immovable oak tree in past situations, while still having the ability to reset that line of scrimmage like we talked about. I talked earlier about how UNC is my sleeper pick to make the college football playoff. And I think it comes back to their coaching staff almost, where you have Mac Brown and O-line coach Stacy Searles have been able to build one of the best offensive lines in the country. And I think Marcus is definitely a big part of that, but it's also the whole five together. I think they really do a great job, especially that right side of the line where they have Jordan Tucker at right tackle and Marcus McKeithen at right guard. I think that's one of the best right sides of a line in the entire country. Another football I coach that I think is on the staff there that I think has helped Marcus be a dominant force at right guard is their strength and conditioning coach, Brian Hess. Coach Hess has quite the resume as he spent time working with football players at some legendary programs, Iowa, Army, Harvard, and Coach Hess has an advantage. He plays football. He knows what it's like to strap on the pads and put on a helmet. He understands the ins and out of the games, how much time you have to put into it, what it's like to go through the grind. He was a captain and linebacker for Springfield College, so he knows what is the demand of an athlete, and he can push them in the weight room to help them reach and maximize their potential. When I see Marcus play, I see a guy who will eventually be playing on Sundays. I think a large part of that must be the work he puts in off the field. In order to have such an easy transition from tackle to guard, you're going to have to spend a lot of time in the playbook. You're going to have to watch a lot of film. You're going to have to learn from the other guys in your position group. And that is something he does. And I think that's a very important thing for any offensive lineman. And it comes back to the way Marcus has been able to use his size to his advantage while consistently improving is nothing short of incredible. And that is why I believe we are going to see him playing for a very, very long time on Sundays. I'm wishing the best of luck to Marcus and the Tar Heels Saturday as they host Syracuse at Chapel Hill. 
I am very excited to watch an oak tree in this classic Carolina blue Jordan 1s at right guard. It's going to be a long day for the Orangemen. 